I was talking with someone recently and they kept bringing up the past and how the past haunted them. And I said to them, and I say to you, if you constantly relive the past, well, you're going to relive the past in the current. You're going to bring it back to you. It may have different faces and different forms, but it will be the same experience. And in a way, it's a soul thing to get beyond, to heal, to have a rising up and a rising above the past. With God's help, you let go. You let go of the past and past ways. And you let God do a mighty new work in you. Now, examining the past for the purpose of gaining greater understanding, that's okay. But you have to let go of that that haunts you. You have to let go of that that holds you down mentally or physically and know in your mind that God has the right and perfect answer for every life challenge. And this is a new year, a new time, a new you. It is not necessary for you to attempt to resolve the challenges on your own. So often we toss and turn at night wondering how we could have done things differently. What we could have done, what we can do in the future. It is necessary to go to God, to a higher state of mind, to have new ideas, divine ideas come through you for your life. The best and the wisest course of action you can follow is to take your need to God first. No challenge in the whole world is too difficult when you take your need to God first. No course of action is in error when you're open and you're receptive to God's presence. When you follow divine guidance, and if you follow divine guidance in this new year, you're going to have quite a year. You are going to have a year better and more expanded in your joy than you could even imagine right now. But you need to let go of the past, those hurtful things that are holding you down, suppressing your ability to to rise higher, suppressing your ability to expand and become all that you can become. You are in God's care and keeping. And therefore, you let go. And you let God do a mighty work in and through you.